a little dirt, but I mostly yo, yo, kept yo, my yo. hands clean. Peace, a peace, peace. Peace, peace, brother. We're live. Welcome back, everybody. Dead Black Mom Podcast with your boy, Skip Rock, and your boy, Safari. Mm-hmm. Back in the dungeon. Sir. From Shore Hyenas. We have some stuff to take care of on the world. Word up. Real quick disclosure this is not propaganda. This is not corporate news. This is pure entertainment. All right, brothers, we're going to jump real quick on a reaction video that we had prepared for you um, during this last live discussion that we had on our podcast. Wanted to um, make sure we follow up on that, and uh, we have something ready for you, Skip. What we got? This is a video of a pretty popular young man in the... Hollywood scene, an actor by the name of Terrence Howard. You should be familiar with him. He's played a lot of pivotal roles. Uh, hustle and flow. Yeah, the most popular for the hip hop culture, the hustle and flow role. Also, uh, the Lucius Lion character for the Empire TV show on Fox. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you don't know, Mr. Howard is not your average Hollywood actor. He has a heavy mental. And uh, just like most of us with heavy mentals, we like to share them. So this brother has been doing lectures and TED Talks and videos on astrophysics and metaphysical science. And uh, hey, uh, let's let's. uh, He's got some knowledge. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's, let's give him a listen and see 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 if if he uh, enlightens you. Let's see what we got over here. Let me. How we approach our roast. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yo, we're going to press play and react to this video as we watch. Subscribe. DBM Podcast. Here we go. Three, two. This will literally blow your mind. Terrence Howard is about to reveal the extraordinary impact of hidden frequency rhythms, a secret long held by ancient civilizations and now gaining modern attention. I've spent 45 years searching these things out and trying to figure out what the universe really, how it really worked. I want you guys to know about a 6,000 year old secret. 6,000 years, mankind has been trying to decipher this one little thing it's called the flower of life. This is one of the oldest symbols in um, human history, right? This symbol was found in the temple of Osiris in Egypt, and it had been molecularly burned into the wall. And it's 6,000 years old. This, this same symbol has been found in the forbidden temples in China. He said uh, he's been doing research for 45 years. How old is he? I think he by age, 48. 48? Yeah. Yep. sitting under the foo-foo dogs and the foot on it, the flower of life, saying whoever controlled that flower of life controlled the universe. There were secrets in that flower of life that da Vinci spent his whole life trying to uncover. There were secrets in that flower of life that Newton spent his whole life in secret trying to uncover. They were trying to find a way to bring this flower to life because what is inside of it? Well, apparently there were secrets inside of it shapes they got the macurba and all of those other things out of it mm-hmm. but they were misled by something i think called a straight line you believe there's straight lines in the universe well let me hit you with something all energy in the universe is expressed in what it's in motion if something is still there's no energy mm-hmm. kinetic right all Wait. motion is expressed in what you look at galaxies are they expressing straight lines expressed in vortices all vortices are ex- expressed in what Waves, all waves are curved. Show me a straight line in nature. You show me where the platonic solids come from. Where do they have their foundations in our universe? Are there any straight lines? If you look at anything, there are no straight lines. That's been the mistake. We've been looking at these straight lines, this Euclidean way of thinking and missing the curvature of nature. So here we are back with the curvature of nature. And you have all these little pieces Now, this has always been an information system. Compare some of these points, take a point here, and say, well, what's the space in between all of these things? Now, they've said that all the in-between spaces, if this is the Earth and this is the moon right here, all this in-between space is filled with what? A void. 
There is nothing in the void. Well, I found that there is something in the void. Yeah. The elementary fundamental particles that they've been searching for at the CERN Collider, Damn. the Hedron Collider in CERN. I found that their temperatures matched perfectly. CERN will be one of the next Some videos of the pieces they beat me that to I was it. able to pull out of here. Yeah. They couldn't Not get it. somebody in the, in the books. Mm -hmm. it out of this two-dimensional frame and as a result they got stuck in this plane a flat plane but, but all of these wave conjugations all of these states of matter all of these, these things there's time come on man it's time for that to be changed now we have changed all of our our buildings to be aerodynamic, our airplanes are no longer based on a two-dimensional Euclidean way of life, hmm. but our math is still based on a two-dimensional way. Euclidean. And I think Euclidean. in order for us to reach the future, we have to examine that. Do you guys know about um, loops in math? Do you believe in loops? Do you know the square root of two? Do you think that's a loop? Do you believe that the square root of two is the square root of two? I want y'all to take out your phone for a minute then. This man is We're gonna do one thing. Put it on the calculator and turn it to the side so you can get all the long numbers out of it. Now I want you to put in two and square root it. Two, hit the square root, you'll get 1.414213562373095 dot dot dot, right? Now I want you guys to do me a favor, cube it. It'll see right over there, it'll be x to the three. It'll see 2.828427121746190. Now that makes sense. I want you guys to do me a favor, divide it by two, Got that number, cube it again, divide it by two, cube it again, and I want you to do that until the end of your lives. <laughs> and that number will still come up with 2.828-4271-2174-6190. Any other number that you, above two, that you put in and you cube and you square, cube and divide by two, by the six operation, it has moved into an exponential number that you can't even imagine. Any number below two, that you do that same operation with, it will go into an exponentially small matter and number. This is what we call a loop. It is illogical, it doesn't make sense, and it does not make math make sense. Hmm. So these are some things that, that um, I'm bringing to the fore and that I would like to question. I would like to audit <laughs> the math, the world of mathematics, and I would like to audit how we view the platonic solids, because I think the new wave conjugations will tell a better story of how our world works. Well, our DNA is made up of what? Five elements, right? High T strings. Okay, I gotta pause that for a second. That was a lot. Hey, is he heavy, bro? <laughs> Super heavy. Super heavy. You know, I like the eloquence, of course, but the flow of words to come natural from knowing your science. Mm -hmm. You can tell he's real versed. It's always very telling. Yeah. And uh, yeah. he's been looking into it deeply. Yeah. From different angles. Made, had to make sense for him in order for him to be able to orate it. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, at that level of confidence. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very, uh, uh, it's very commanding mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, I remember in one uh, interview he was, I can't quote the age, that he said he was drawn to the symbol, the tree of life. He was pretty young. So for him saying 45 years, he's been like pondering that shit. If I'm not mistaken, he might be a little older than me. He's got to be uh, at least seven years older than me. That's what I'm saying. His humble early 50s? Yeah, 50? Yeah, he's got to be 50 something. Yeah, yeah he's, he was. Because, you know, to, just well to, kept, but he's not. On the conscious, uh, inquisitive age, Yeah, it's usually 10, like 9 or 10. You know what I mean? Like when you really start. Yeah, I validated because I know that once you start doing the connection of how far you personally have been looking for answers. You start relating, um, you know, situations when you were a kid where yep. you were like, oh, that's what that was all about. Yep, yep. I didn't even know that I was doing I was feeling that. that. Yep. 
but I was sitting there like mesmerized by something mm -hmm. that later on uh, superseded my adolescence into my you know preteens, you know, years of inquisitiveness, mm -hmm. and had some sort of revolution in your life that can keep you somehow open. To read between the lines, you have to, whatever to that. Continue, yeah, building, yeah, yeah, seeking until the curiosity is enough for you to just always want yep, to want to know. Read, yeah, gotta see all the lines. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. That's why it's important for you to you do your research, please. Do your own reading, please. And question, question everything. Everything. Yep, yep, yep. yep. So our DNA is made up of what? Five elements, right? Here we go. Hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen carbon, 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 nitrogen, phosphorus, phosphorus, and oxygen. You know how they're arranged? The phosphorus sits right here in the middle, and you've got four oxygen atoms surrounding it. Then there's another phosphorus, two more oxygen atoms. Now these are the legs of that double helix. These are the legs. Now the ladder steps on it, they become the adenine, the guanine, the cyanine, and thymine. thymine. That's your ATG. The ATCG. Yeah. It turns out hydrogen, they used to think that energy the, the body transferred or understood the energy information through electricity. They're finding out it's through frequency. Well, guess what hydrogen sounds like? It's a key of E. Guess what, um, and it's a color yellow. That's what proper physics gets you to. Mm. Oxygen is a chartreuse, and it's the key of F over F sharp. Now, they used to, like I said, information used to be thought about as just electrical information passing on. But I got a question for hey, you. Have you ever been at a party crazy, with bro. some of your friends? I should have just let them keep going. <clears throat> but like every time I, 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 I fucking write music, me personally, I always go to E and F sharp. Have, have you noticed that? Don't like my go-to fucking chords to fucking play and shit. You're vocally tuned. Yeah, I to, sit, to I, e, I sit e right sharp. there. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Everybody's vocal range, yeah. specific area, right? <coughs> You're like um, um, E major or E or F sharp, or F sharp minor. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. There you, you go. You're comfortable. You hear me? You know. You know because you know me. Yep. 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 Friends, you ain't seen in ten years, but y'all was like fourteen. You hung out in the song that came on, and you like, ah! and everybody got up and was live at that moment. Now, say 10 years later, you got a friend with you. He's a good guy, but he wasn't there when me and my boys formed this. So when that song comes on, our DNA tightens, tightens. There's a particular song, a scale in the genome for each and every one of us. Now, when that song is played, when your particular prime resonant frequency is played, guess what happens? Your DNA celebrates and tightens. <laughs> Everything else gets pushed out. Harmonic wave resequencing. The carbon is also the nitrogen is G. And all these play a song. So say that the F over F sharps of the oxygen, the green, is only hitting at an, an F. Why? Because there's another frequency coming in from a generator over there. That's changing and causing it to change. And when the F hits the carbon, instead of hitting as an F sharp, it hits as an F. So when it hits the carbon at an E, it doesn't hit it quite right. So the domino don't file right. So the next domino hits wrong. And so now we have a uh, malformation happening within our DNA because the frequencies are being pushed off. That's what they're doing with the music right now. Brother, he, that's what they're doing with the music right now, y'all. He went into detail in <laughs> what we had already been talking about with all these motors at home, starting with your uh, your refrigerator, refrigerator. Ooh, your lights, the electrical power lines, right? Everything emitting a My specific boys. wave sound. Every, I can yep. hear it right now yeah, as we. Just, I was just yeah. mimicking them. Yep, exactly. I can hear the white noise that, went, that is going on through the electrical wires of our setup. You know what I'm saying? Yep. That All that shit is own. doing things to our DNA as we're we speak. We're harvesting it because, you know, it's having a direct contact with our yes. uh, emitting frequency. Yes. And what he's saying is that when you are supposed to be 
say sharp you come out flat because simply your frequency is not its full potential yes cycling properly yes you know what I'm saying when you're off cycle when you're off balance you're not gonna emit the correct you're not gonna be on tune yes but Here when we, we hear our tone we tighten back up but I wanted you guys to understand how that works it's so simple you do not need to tear the human body apart when all you can do is use frequency to bring it back to its normal space. Discover how these powerful frequencies, once embedded in the fabric of traditional cultures, are making a dramatic comeback. We're on the Sonic brink healing. of rediscovering ancient wisdom, possibly explaining a significant shift in the music industry. The intriguing transition from the harmonious 432 hertz to the standard 440 hertz. Demons, in look what they did. Perhaps this growing understanding sheds light on a significant shift in the music industry. The change in standard tuning of musical instruments from 432 hertz to 440 hertz. This subtle yet profound alteration begs the question, was this simply a matter of standardization or is there more to this story? The standard tuning pitch, often referred to as a concert pitch, has varied throughout history. The tuning of A equals 432 hertz is said by some to be more harmonically aligned with the universe and the natural resonance of the human body. They often connect to ideas like those expressed by Terence Howard, suggesting that there is a harmonic language embedded within our DNA, waiting to be played in the right key. The shift to 440 hertz occurred around the 20th century and has since become the accepted standard for tuning musical instruments. Some conspiracy theorists suggest that this was done with the knowledge that it would cause disharmony, anxiety, and a more aggressive response in the population. They yeah. argue that this is allegedly spearheaded by figures like Joseph Goebbels, mm -hmm. the Nazi minister of <laughs> propaganda, was a form of psychological manipulation. Hey, research that dude. Uh, I, I got to I'm all. Oh, oh, I got to roll my paper. Theorists, historians and musicians who contend that the difference in frequency is too slight to affect human consciousness and the way conspiracists claim. On the other, there are those who feel that the difference resonates through every note, affecting mood, consciousness, and even physical health. The controversy surrounding the tuning of music raises a fundamental question. Why are frequencies so important? If the difference of a few hertz in tuning can be the subject of such intense debate, it suggests a belief in the intrinsic power of frequency that resonates through history. From the chants of Gregorian monks to the tuning of Tibetan singing bowls, this belief is not only cultural, but also increasingly scientific as researchers delve into the effects of sound on the human body and consciousness. The importance of frequencies in music might extend beyond more preference or historical precedent. It taps into the very way our brains process sound waves, the vibrations they create, and how these can influence our emotional and psychological states. Some studies suggest that music tuned to certain frequencies may enhance mood or cognition, although more research is needed to establish definitive effects. As we ponder the implications of Terence Howard's assertions and the historical shift in music tuning, it becomes clearer that to understand the full impact, we need to venture deeper into the science of sound. It's within the realms of acoustics, neuroscience, and even quantum physics that we can search for the answers to how and why frequencies might hold such sway over our well-being. In the following segment, we shall delve into the complexities of frequencies, examining the science behind their influence from the molecular to the cosmic level. Frequ yeah, I'm, 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 the cosmic level. Man, bro. <laughs> to the divine side. This is dope as fuck. Yeah, it is. It's oh, a, little, <clears throat> a little roundabout of information. It's very well spelled out. Mm -hmm. you know, like, yeah, oh, not oh, not oh, too oh. complicatedly described. Yeah, know? over years of me just watching all kinds of videos explaining the different sciences and then putting it together in my head. Uh, the This pu publication right here did a very good job at it staying coherent right with the visuals know, and audio on time with the audio boop, 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 boop. and the information right mm -hmm. and um yeah man it, it resonates a lot with a, a lot of the work that we've been doing mm -hmm. you know over the years mm -hmm. with um you know the the mathematic uh you know spiritual side of our music mm -hmm. and um and, and how it was delivered right like you know that's another thing too, like um, being cautious that you know it's not it, it, it's a tool, yep. right? It's a, it's a skillful tool. Yep. 
they can very easily be utilized to manipulate. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And so, be weaponized quickly. You know, staying uh, and keeping that in the radar that you know the potential that it has also to cause harm mm -hmm. if not used properly. Mm -hmm. But if used properly, it can also emit, emit very healing vibes. Yes, sir. Into you know the listener. Yes, sir. Which is you know what we're working, what we're dealing with. Very interesting, man. This was, this was really dope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Insightful as fuck, bro. Well, yes, sir. But uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna keep you all tuned and uh, keep it rolling. Uh, have a couple other videos to react. We'll mm -hmm. come back. Just keep yourself posted on the YouTube channel where yep. we are gonna be doing some live uh, podcasting coming up soon. We're getting prepared for that. Word up. So stay in tune. Dead Black Monks. Dead Podcast. Dash. Rebel Radio. That's our YouTube handle, right? Correct? That is correct. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. It's going to be some fresh live business popping off pretty soon. Uh, yeah. Facebook. Uh, music page. Dead Black Monks. Regular spelling. Link in. Yeah, one word. Dead Black Monks uh, on Facebook.com. And uh, we'll write some links to that. And also to, um, you mentioned Doing some homework on my man, the German. Yeah, yeah, Kababo. I, I've heard, I heard about him back in the day, and I, now that they show that, I'm gonna pull up some shit on him because I, I read some shit about him on his propagandine and sound manipulation, how they was using shit to make like soldiers sick, playing shit. You know. Okay, okay, so, that sounds right. cool. Uh, so we, sounds like we're gonna be reacting to a video about my man, yeah, and or some information about my man, and then. Uh, also, uh, try to wrap around back to Serna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True indeed. Com and stay in the conversation. So, uh, just do your homework, do your reading. Send ideas. Yes, send requests. Do. If you want us to watch videos and react to any information or something like that you would like us to research or build about, shoot us. Shoot us some, some, some messages. Subscribe to the channel and like if you like what you see and you enjoy what you hear. And uh, we'll be back with you next time. So, peace out. Peace, peace. They're black monks. Energies that you release come back to time.